All right, this is a very short uh, piece from Jesus' long talk uh, at the festival, which uh, this is uh, essentially a subsection of that long talk, which is chapter 7 and 8. Uh, and so this is an introduction to a part of Jesus' long discourse. It has been selected as part of the lectionary because of the theme of the Spirit. Uh, and so the verbal threads in this are, you know, who, uh, out of the believer's heart uh, shall flow rivers of living water, and then which believers in him were to receive, uh, and then the Spirit. You know, this, he said this about the Spirit, for as yet there was no Spirit. Uh, so that's another uh, verbal connection uh, in, this, uh, in these two episodes. The dynamic of this is a dynamic of promise. It is in spirit very much like the, spirit, the, the speech of, uh, of Peter at Pentecost. Uh, and the theme of this uh, is related to Pentecost, is about the spirit. And that the spirit here is described as a river of living water flowing out of the believer's heart. It's a different metaphor for the Spirit than is present in uh, the Pentecost story, which is about you know, the gift of the Spirit as a mighty wind and as of uh, and as of other languages. But here, it is about the Spirit which believers in Him were to receive. Uh, which was not going to happen until Jesus was glorified. So in a way, this is an anticipation of what was fulfilled in Pentecost. And it is a story then, a brief episode in this talk in which Jesus prophesies what is going to happen in the future, and it is fulfilled then in the story of Pentecost. And so if you want to tell this, you know, it is a very interesting thing uh, because of the way in which John has uh, woven a similar motif into his story, but one that is related to Jesus' glorification. And that is also uh, what is picked up and developed then in the uh, Pentecost story. But I would recommend that you just tell the Pentecost story. It's a long story, and it's enough. Uh, for this day. Uh, but I wanted to uh, give you at least a, an introduction to John 7 if you decide to use that.